Hello everyone and welcome back to SimCity 2013 and believe it or not it is confession time everyone that I've shown this particular city to has enjoyed the design of it and I thank you all for liking this design I thought it went really really well uh, I like the idea behind it and I had an idea my idea was while I record I usually notice things that I need to improve off-camera before I record again. So one of the things that I was going to do is I was going to fix some of the problems uh, that I noticed while I was recording, and I was going to let my city run a bit before I record it again. Um, none of that sounds like a really, really horrible idea. So boy, was I surprised. And for this, you guys need to draw on your imaginations. I want you to imagine, if you will, a red line stretching from this bit of avenue. I want you to imagine this red line stretching all the way through my city. I want you to imagine this line stretching all the way to my highway. And I want you to imagine traffic backed up as far as the eye can see. If you can imagine that, then you begin to get a sense of what happened. Because the funny thing about this game is the civics. They all have to travel on your road. If they cannot travel on your road, they cannot fight crime, they cannot put out fires. Perhaps you're seeing where this is going. So when I was letting that build up, everything you see in front of you burned to the fucking ground. Oh, it was glorious. And wait, there's more! Not only did it burn to the ground, I had criminals then, coming out of the woodwork. I had at least 150 criminals a day, 100 crimes committed a day, and this city turned into a veritable shithole. So, I had to do the only thing that I could think to do. I took this handy dandy little bulldoze tool, I bulldozed everything that was costing me money, I got a lot of money back, and then I removed everyone from my city, effectively allowing me to wipe the slate clean and try again. Now, that, um, I thought that was a mistake too. I thought I was just like compounding my errors over and over and over again, but if we look at, yeah, here we go. If we actually look at uh, what I kind of did, I have a police station here complete with jails. I've got a, com a police station here complete with jails. I've got Mr. Max's man, which I don't know, he's helpful, I guess. And I had another police station, which I no longer need, that was over in here, complete with jails. And between all of these different uh, police stations, I was finally able to get my crimes like to a more reasonable level. Um, it still doesn't quite make any sense. I mean, according to this, I have 75 criminals per day that aren't committing any crimes. I don't really understand how that one works. I guess they're just like sitting around looking like thugs. I really have no idea how that works at all. And in the interest of trying to cut down on traffic, I did a little bit more of a derpy method. As you can see, I've got random bits of commercial strewn out among my residences. Which brings me to yet another thing. Uh, those of you viewing this later on YouTube and those of you watching me stream this live in the chat, I have a question for you. What do you think happens when you build high-density buildings? What does that effect have on your traffic? What would you say? What would you say? What do you think actually happens in those instances? Are you going to have more traffic? Are you going to have less traffic? What do you think? You're voting that that actually gridlocks your city. That would be my assumption too. Uh, yeah. Sand, 510. Absolutely. I... That was my thought. I thought, you know what, I'm going to upgrade all of these buildings and I'm going to see what happens. Funny thing. Apparently, 
Uh, if you upgrade them to the highest land value, as as you can see here, um, you don't really get traffic for some reason. I had more traffic when everything was medium density than I do when this is high density. The traffic kind of just disappeared. So that one was confusing. My current thought, honest to god, my current thought is that these buildings here don't have traffic. Or they're programmed to have even uh, less traffic or something weird. I don't fully understand that one, but that seems to be what happens. It's kind of weird. Uh, so that's one of the reasons, I think, why you see a lot of these people uh, having all of their high-density commercial. They build up and build up and build up and build up and build up. And you think, oh my god, their city is just going to freaking die. And it never does. And I think that might be the reason. I mean, without looking at how that's coded exactly, I can't say for sure, but my section of town, all the traffic, this was all redlined before I built these up. And when they built up, they just went away. So, I don't know. That's all I can say about that. But while we are here, let's take a look at some other things in my city. Uh, since last time, I have plopped in Yield Big Ben. Unfortunately, my pro stadium did go away because I realized that the traffic is the devil, and I kicked him out of my city. So instead, I'm trying to keep this a little bit more controlled. You can see here that, uh, where are you? You are under culture? You are under culture that you get about 15,000 extra people all going on the same street to the same place. And that's not good, right? That's, that, that's bad. Especially for roads that can't take 15,000 people on them. Now, oh, are you, oh, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? You're gonna do it, aren't you? I don't really understand buses in this game. You can tell from this guy that I really don't understand buses in this game. I mean, arbitrarily a bus just unloads a bunch of people. It apparently never moves. People get on. People go around them. I have no idea what this... I mean, where are those people coming from? I just had like a... I had like a hundred people just get out of a bus and go nowhere. Is this like a fucking clown car? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But whatever. We're making some money from Big Ben because of our clown cars. That's about all I can say. So, good old, good for clown cars. They uh, give you money. They give you money. Uh, the result of Big Ben being in my city, of course, is... Um, I think buildings like this, I want to say? Yeah. The British tile set from Ye Olde Deluxe Edition does change a few things, so you can see uh, some of these lower buildings taking on a distinctly different turn. And I could be wrong about this next bit, but I think, and you guys in the comments can tell me if I'm wrong about this or not, uh, I think Big Ben also gave everyone solar panels. Maybe I just wasn't noticing, but it seems like every residential building now has solar panels on their roof. Okay, not the low density ones, but well, okay, some of the low density ones, yeah. Some of them do as well. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. That's a different change. Um, despite, of course, the solar panels, my power consumption hasn't changed any, so it's just cosmetic. But you know, it's still interesting. It's still kind of interesting, right? And last but not least, I did not want to have, um, what the heck is going on over here? What happened to you? 
You're under construction? It looks like you're on fire, bro. I don't think I'd want to work in the abyss of darkness, but okay, you can. Good good luck and godspeed and all that. Uh, what was I saying? Ah, right. I didn't want to have my city just be like a forest of skyscrapers. I mean, that's really, really easy. Um, so I'm trying to create this little... Uh, I want to call it a neighborhood, but right now it's Trailer Park Central. I'm trying to... I really am trying to do something about that. I would like houses here. Not sure if it's going to happen. We're doing our best. They're completely shrugging off our... You know, our community park here. But maybe we can get them up. And last but not least, little addition to our city is this recycling center. It does give a surprising amount of money when you up and when you get recycling up and running. I'm not even recycling that heavily. I have what? Yeah, I've got like one addition, one add-on to it, which I'm immediately selling next door, metal and plastic. They, they do give you quite a bit of money, though. I mean, 30000 per 10 in metal, 21000 per uh, 1000 in plastic. It's a pretty good deal. Some extra money. Between that and Big Ben being in my city, giving me, you know, a little bit of money per day. Not much, just an extra 10k, but paying for itself. And I think there's something else over here. Yeah. Alright, you, unfortunately, are losing money, but who cares? Who cares? I like the windmill. I don't care about it. The windmill's awesome. Of course, we do have that lovely bug where, depending on how you look at it, they kind of lose their legs. Here, they have legs. Here, they don't. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Um, let's see. I've got a large secret for this city, though. I don't know if I want to reveal it right now. That's one thing I haven't been able to decide. Do I reveal my secret now, or do I simply reveal it for those on stream? I don't know. I don't know. In the meantime, I'm going to work on something else while I'm deciding. Uh, I do not need a coal power plant and a nuclear power plant, though I'm not sure what my education is like. This, on the other hand, is also kind of bugging me. He's always this guy who looks like Jesus wants skilled workers constantly. He's always complaining about the manufacturing being low, uh, just having like low skill. But when I actually try to figure out what the deal with that is, I'm seeing green means educated, right? So I'm seeing. This is, uh, are you an apartment? Uh, but yeah, here's my residential. They're all nicely, um, educated. This is residential, they're educated. That's, uh, commercial, residential, commercial, residential, commercial, commercial, residential. All of my residents are educated, except for these people that I just put in. Everyone but these guys are actually educated, so I don't really know what they're complaining about. I mean, are they complaining that my industry is has uneducated people? Should I just for giggles put school bus stops here just to see if that clears it up? I don't know. I even have a community college somewhere. Yeah, right here. Ooh, I hear thunder. And you might as well. Yeah, we're teaching like a thousand people. I actually have to add on to this some more because we have so many people going to school in this city. So yeah, I really don't get the whole uneducated bit. I really don't get it. 
But suffice to say, it's real. I mean, they're constantly complaining. Unskilled workers, unskilled workers. So, I don't know. My people are skilled, I promise. I mean, my schools are, like, kind of spread all over the place. I mean, I have a high school over here. I got my community college over there. And, um... Uh, yeah, you, grade school over there. But I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's go back to trying to get these people up and operational. Um, do we have fires in our city? What's going on? No shoppers, no shoppers... Too much crime. Really? How much crime is too much crime? Uh, zero crimes committed per day is too much crime. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Wow. You're right, that is entirely too much. Alright, so I, 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 that's, that's inexcusable. I apologize. Tell you what, um... You go fight fires. Alright, so let's see. So, you guys are kind of burning to the ground. I Oops, you were for sale. Oh shoot, sorry. Um, my bad? Uh, let's put in a few more people over here. We're actually getting houses in now. I don't think you'd actually want to live next to a processing plant. And you probably wouldn't want to live behind a... Alright, now there's a question for you. Because you know they're going to build in there, right? Would you actually want to live next to a, for intents and purposes, abandoned nuclear power plant? Would you like to live right behind it? Or right next to it? That's good, right? 